Now, more, and the, the main reason, as I said yesterday, we, we uh, let all those small businesses on. Every one of them had been stung badly. Some with great, great effect on their business had taken out loans to supply goods and materials and work to a man called James Carey um, in uh, Stanmullen in County Mead. was to, just to alert other people uh, to the fact that they... In truth, they should listen to the programme and decide themselves if they want to uh, continue uh, doing business because apparently he's still uh, operating. We've been talking to him, but he, he he's decided not to participate in the programme. But one man who has contacted us is a relative of James uh, Carey and his name is Michael Frayne and is also in the UK. What is your re- relationship to, to James Carey, Michael? Good afternoon. Afternoon, Joe. Yeah. Uh, James is my cousin, Um my mother and his brother were brother and sister. Yeah, I, I, uh, brother, yeah. Your, your, brother your, and sister. Yeah, his, his father was your uncle, in other words. Yes, that's yes, okay. Yes, yes. Um, okay, um, and you heard yesterday's great upset by a lot of people about money, basically, that, they, that they're that they owed by Jim. And they spent a lot of money on materials. Were you aware mm-hmm. of, were you aware before you heard the broadcast of these difficulties? Uh, we, well, I did hear of that a couple of weeks ago that a man had built a wall for next door mm-hmm. and that there were issues with payment. But uh, he, that part of the... He, he's, he has no claim on that land, on that side of the house. So mm-hmm. I don't know why he was getting a wall built there anyway, but he was trying to stake a claim on that side. And uh, are, you, yeah, are you aware of previous incidents involving money? Yes, James. Uh, well, the main reason I've rung you is what he's done to the family, really. Um, what, what, he, grand- what, he, what he has done to the family? Yes. Yeah, okay. it, it, this has been going on for years. Um, sorry, excuse me, I'm just out of breath. I just walked out. Um, okay. We've actually... Uh, we, we were trying to get help with with him for a long time. He, he That house he's in was his grandmother's house, mm-hmm. and he lived in there with her. And basically, the last years of her life, he basically imprisoned her in that house. He he built all the walls up so high she could never see the land out over the back that she mm. had that, that her, her land. And um, he found out she had an inheritance, and uh, he asked to borrow some money off her. I think it was about five hundred euros, and she agreed. Mm. She was a hundred years old then, she, a fit woman, but she was very deaf. But she agreed. Anyway, he drove her to the bank in AIB, I believe, in Jordan, and went in there for the 500 euros and spoke to the cashier and asked for 19,000 euros to be issued in a personal cheque to him. Now, the cashier Mm -hmm. asked my grandmother, Mrs Carey, are you sure that's okay?" She assumed it was 500 and being deaf, and she went, yes, that's fine. The cashier issued the cheque, he then okay. brought her down suit two subsequent times again over the course of a few months and cleaned out roughly seventy nine thousand euros out of her oh account. God. And can it? I can back this. We've got documentation. We've got the. I've got the checks. I've got the statements from the bank. We've got. We've got the issued checks. Everything. He said it was a loan. He left her with not a cent in her account. When she died, she didn't have money to pay for her own funeral. That was the one thing. She was a widow. She mm. brought up six children. She brought up six children, his grandmother. Um, and she made sure that she had money in her account for her funeral costs because she didn't want to burden any of her children. He, he took every penny out of her account. He, um, he, let me think now. Well, he's, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit emotional. Yeah, bit. I can understand. This, this is yeah. your this is your cousin you're talking about. You're talking, unfortunately, yeah. oh, about, yeah. about family. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. And he he's manipulated her. He he pressured her to to uninfluence everything in the house. He 
he made sure she wasn't allowed out. She couldn't see okay. anyone. And but Michael, have you? In the in the extend in the extended family, and I don't want to bring in people who've no mm-hmm. con, no connection with this, so that's why I appreciate you no, no, uh, no. you contacting yeah. us. Um, yes. Like, are the are the extended family united in saying yes that oh, all what of James is doing is wrong? We've we've we've, we've approached the Gardaí, we've approached the local authorities regarding um, elderly abuse. None of them wanted to know about it. The guards know a history of, of, of things he's done. He's regularly calling the guard. Anyone yeah, who, we, heard, we heard that yesterday, yeah. Anyone who threatens him, he will either call them a paedophile. If he gets too much, if he gets, if he gets boxed into a corner, he claims he...